everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to show you guys all of my favorite things that I've really been enjoying this month. It is winter over here in Australia and it's been really really cold so the makeup that I've been wearing has been a little bit different. My moisturizers I've been using have been a little bit different and there's just quite a few little things that I've really 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 been enjoying and I wanted to share with you guys. So the first thing I want to show you guys is the foundation that I have been wearing non-stop lately. I've been wearing this pretty much every day that I haven't just been sitting around the house and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I wear it in the color 120 and I've been absolutely loving this foundation for winter. In winter, I always tend to wear a foundation with a little bit more coverage um, just because in summer, I just literally sweat my foundation off and you guys know me, I'm always going swimming. So in summer, I'm pretty simple. I just like like a BB cream and maybe a mascara. But in winter, I definitely tend to wear a little bit more makeup and I've just really, really been loving this foundation. I feel like the finish is really, really nice. The coverage is nice and it's really buildable. I'm definitely not a makeup artist or anything like that, but I have tried a lot of different makeups and for a drugstore foundation I think I definitely have to say this would have to be one of my absolute favorites so another little thing that's a bit random that I've been loving using this winter is rosehip oil every single night after I wash my face I've been using about two drops of this rosehip oil putting it over my whole face and then just adding a moisturizer over the top and I just feel like this has been like really nice and moisturizing for my skin my skin gets so so dry in winter especially in places like around my nose I've been using this every single night and I'm really really liking it it has a bit of a weird smell to it. Um, like it kind of just Ooh, nearly spilled it. Kind of smells like, I don't know, it reminds me of like a like a barn or something. Like hay. Like it has a really <laughs> it has a really weird smell to it. But if smells don't bother you like me, like after I've got it on for like five minutes, I can't even smell it anymore. Then it's been really, really nice and moisturizing. And apparently I've heard for so many years that rosy oil is amazing for your skin and I've finally been using it and it has been helping. So now it wouldn't be right unless I added this little one into my favorites. Those of you who have been watching my vlogging channel for a long time will know that I absolutely love this lipstick. And it is the Astralis Vela Lips in the color Parry. This has been my ride or die lipstick for a very long time now, probably like a year. It's just like a really nice everyday lip color. I'm wearing it right now. It's very sort of natural looking. It just kind of looks like your lip color, but just like a little bit nicer. I go through phases where I like to do something a bit different and like a bright lip, but generally this lip color is just like, I can't go without it. Like as soon as my tube's starting to run out, I'm racing straight back to Priceline to buy another one. And a lot of the time this color is sold out. So there's been probably like five times where I've gone to different places to try to find it and this one color is gone so I'm guessing a lot of other people really enjoy this color too. I've tried a few other colors um but no this one's the one for me so parry it is. Just love 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 this lip color. So please excuse my skin with a close-up after having um, the miscarriage that Kurt and I have just been through uh, my skin has just completely freaked out so ignore my skin but I want to show you guys what the lip color looks like up close. So I do absolutely love this lipstick. It does get quite drying though because it is a super duper matte lipstick. Um, so I tend to just use my Blistex over the top of it. But the good thing about it is that it does last a really long time once you put it on your lips. And I tend to just use some Blistex over the top of it, which really should be my monthly favorites, especially considering it's winter. My lips get so dry and I, I can't live without Blistex ever. So this is literally going to be a monthly favorite forever and ever and ever. <laughs> and particularly the silver one. Um, I've tried all different types of Blistex and this is just the one I keep going back to. So today on my lips, I've just got this and I probably did about two coats and then just popped the Blistex over the top. So the next product is the Clearasil Daily Clear Hydro Blast Gel Wash. And I've absolutely been loving this face wash. Since having my miscarriage again, sorry for mentioning it like three times in this video, um, but it's relevant to why I've been loving it. Um, my skin has been absolutely breaking out. I've been having pimples everywhere from on my face to my shoulders to my back to my chest. I've just been having a terrible breakout. I've tried multiple different face washes over the past few months and this is just the one we keep going back to. It seems to work really well and definitely keep my face the clearest. This one's definitely mine and Kurt's both of our favorites. So this next one I'm going to show you guys I use religiously every single winter and that is the Dove Summer Glow Moisturizer and I use it in the medium to dark skin. In winter my skin is always super duper dry and on top of that my skin goes very very white because I'm not out in the sun as much. So I absolutely love um, that this sort of does the two in one. It gives my skin a really nice moisturizer and it gives me a little bit of a glow. So if you use this every single day, it definitely adds up and you start to get a bit of color to you. I tend to sort of use this only if we're going um, out and about somewhere. So say if we're going to go out to dinner one night and my legs are looking really sort of dry and a bit white. Even the night before, sometimes I'll put it on like say the night before and then the morning of again. And it gives you a pretty nice color. So this is definitely one that I can't go without in winter. I absolutely love this moisturizer and it's something I continually purchase. I can't go without having it 
in my bathroom. Sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. That is Kurt. Those of you who know Kurt, he's like such a clean freak and he's taking the bins out. <laughs> this next one is a little bit random, but I have got super duper sensitive skin and have been having allergies to hair dyes since I have started dyeing my hair. So probably like the last eight to 10 years. And this is the only hair dye that I can use that doesn't give me any sort of reaction or allergy. And I really, really like the color as well. Um, and it actually still sticks to my hair. I've tried like all of the henna ones and stuff like that. And they tend to just kind of wash out really quickly. And that is the Garnier Olea hair dye. And I get it in color four, dark brown. It just leaves my hair feeling really, really soft and it looks really shiny. Um, and yeah, I get no reaction whatsoever from it. This is the only hair dye that I use these days. Last year, I used to always use just black hair dye but the last few times I've been using the dark brown and I quite like it just for something a little bit softer and not quite as harsh and lastly I couldn't not include these you guys that watch my vlogging channel would have probably seen me purchase these the other day but these are my new slippers and they're so comfy and so warm and they were six dollars so they're just from Kmart and what brand are they they're called love I don't even know what that is I think it's probably like Kmart's own brand um, but these are just like so soft and comfy and I've been wearing them every single morning and every single evening so I couldn't not include them in my favorites and honestly six dollars from Kmart like as soon as these bad boys go I'm gonna purchase a new pair so they got like the hard bottom on them as well um, and they're all nice and furry on the inside just as they are on the outside. And yeah, I've just been living in these. I'll be like all dressed really nicely and we'll be walking around the house and Kurt's like, Kiara, it's a great look with your slippers on. So I couldn't not include these bad boys. But guys, that is it for my monthly favorites. Please comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you would like more of these each month. Also comment down below and let me know of some products that you guys love and that you guys think I should try because when I'm out of certain things, I'll definitely go out and try your recommendations. I always love to hear what you guys are trying and what you guys are enjoying. And as you guys know, I really value your opinions. So comment down below and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.